Hello everyone, welcome to Gate Mechanical Lecture Classes. Now in this lecture, we are going to solve a problem from Gate 2020. And this is a problem on deflection of beams. So this is a cantilever beam. Let us consider the beam is AB. Let us consider the beam is AB. And at the end B, the beam is attached with a spring of stiffness K and one transverse load P is applied. So this, this is the description of the system. Now it has been asked to determine what is the transverse deformation at point B. So what is delta B you have to determine. So we have to determine delta B that is the transverse deformation at end B and four options are given. The options are mentioned here. So these are the four options. So how to determine it? So let us draw it once again here for your understanding. So this is the system. Now how many reaction force will be there? So there here will be one reaction force that is RB. Here one reaction force that is RA and point A one reaction moment will be there that is ME. So there are three unknowns RA, ME and RB. So three unknowns. And how many equation of statics is available here? We can apply summation of f of y is 0 and summation of m equal to 0. So these two are active static equation. These two we can apply here and the equation f of x is 0 is redundant here because there is no force along x direction and we have already considered that the horizontal reaction ha is 0 here. So we have two active equation and three unknowns. So this problem is a statically indeterminate problem. So this is a statically this is a statically indeterminate system so this is statically indeterminate why because two equation of statics cannot solve three unknowns so in that case, what we do? We will apply one boundary condition to solve one extra unknowns. So what is the boundary condition we may apply here? Look at here, the spring is rigidly attached to the cantilever beam. So they are rigidly connected. So the deflection of the beam at this point, point B, will be equal with deflection of the spring. So let us apply that. To do that, let us first separate the beam and spring and draw their free body diagrams. So let me once again draw here. So this is the beam, transverse force is P and P S is the spring force. 
whereas this is the spring here and on spring the spring force is ps so ps is the spring force stiffness of the spring is k beam length l and ei is the flexural rigidity now the effective force on the beam is p minus ps so let us denote this point as b so this is point b this is a now due to this force what is the deflection at point b the deflection of point b let us denote it delta b so deflection of the beam at point b is denoted by delta b so the beam will be deflect like this and this amount this amount is delta b so delta b will be how much net force is p minus ps so p minus ps l cube by 3 ei now let us consider the deflection of spring at this point is delta s so what is delta s delta s will be ps by k so delta s is ps by k the spring will deflect by amount delta s and that is ps by k so according to our boundary condition delta b is equal with delta s so we may write what so we may write ps by k is equal with sorry P P minus P S three E I L cube is equal with P S by K. So let take P S by three E I P S by three E I it will be l cube it will be l cube or better take only ps ps l cube 3 ei plus 1 by k is equal with p l cube by 3 ei so ps into this becomes with that so let me erase this or better erase these things so ps into 3 ei k k l q plus 3 e i is equal with p l q 3 e i so this 3 i 3 e i cancelled out so p s by k is equal with p l q k l q plus 3 e i now ps by k which is equal with p l q let us take common 3 e i to match with this options will be 3 e i 3 e i plus k l q now what is ps by k ps by k was delta s which is equal with what 
that is equal with delta b. So, P s by k is nothing but delta b and delta b is equal with let us take this P l q 3 e i into 3 e i 3 e i plus k l q. So, this is our answer delta b is nothing but the deflection and end b which has been asked in the problem and this matches with this option d that is p l cube by 3 e i 3 e i and at the denominator 3 a e i plus k l cube. So, our option d is correct. So, this is the correct answer and I am repeating once again that this is a statically indeterminate problem because there are three unknowns and active static equation we have two. So, one boundary condition we have to apply and what boundary condition we have applied that is that at this point B the deflection of beam that is delta B will be equal with deflection of the spring. So, we have applied this the deflection of beam is P s p minus p s l cube by 3 e i and here it is p s by k. By applying this and rearranging the equation we got this p s by k becomes this p s by k is nothing but delta s which is equal with delta b. So, delta b becomes this. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you have understood. I wish you best of luck in your gate examination.